Friends, today I am going to discuss with you, share with you the efficacy of cannabis in cancer. My personal experiences regarding that. Uh, cannabis sativa in Ayurveda it is called as a Vijaya or in a lo normal local language it is called Bhang. It is a very uh, wonderful uh, e-scheduled uh, drug and it has got number of properties. Various research uh, is being done on the cannabis all over the world. Uh, not only on the cancer but also on the other diseases like Parkinson's, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis etc. Now as we know there are special characteristics of the cancer cells. One is uncontrolled growth. Cancer cells they you know they grow by uh, uh, no boundaries. They, they, they are not controlled growth. Second thing these cancer cells they are immortal. They don't die. Any cell which is taking birth in the body has to die when it becomes non-functional or when it becomes aged. But the cancer cells are immortal. Though they are not functioning well, they are immortal. Yet they are immortal. And third characteristic is the, the work, they have got a the nature of proliferating and going to other system like bone cancer cells. They will travel from bone and they will settle in the lungs and liver and also in the brain or other tissues. Normal cells do not behave in this way. But cancerous cells, they travel from one system to other system and they grow there. Fourth characteristic, they overcome the immunity. They produce such a micro environment around them that immunity is not able to, not able to uh, attack them. They produce such a micro environment that it, it promotes the growth of the cancer cells. Okay, then these cancer cells they have their own metabolic functioning. They they hire the mitochondria and they make in such a way that uh, that, that mitochondria will produce a number of more raw material so that uh, the cancer cells growth continue. And sixth characteristic of the cancer cell is they uh, become resistant to chemotherapy. Okay, so that's why whenever there is a relapse of the cancer. Uh, the same line of drug, same line of chemotherapy may not work and it becomes very tedious job, very hectic, very difficult job to find out second chemotherapy which is safe for the um, uh, use to the patient. Okay, So considering this, if we have certain drugs, certain evidence based herb which can, which can solve all these issues which can be given as an adjuvant along with the chemotherapy, radiation, without you know disturbing their protocol, without disturbing their efficacy, it will be really a boom. So can, there are a number of herbs which have such kind of properties, but cannabis is unique. What is found that when cannabis was seen in the experiment, in the cell line studies and experiment, it was found that when cannabis, CBD especially, cannabis has got number of molecules like CBD, THC, CBN, CBG, etc. So THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, basically acts on the CB1 receptors which are present in the brain and that's why it is a psychoactive. And CBD, cannabidiol, it acts on the periphery, it acts on your immune system, it acts on your all other uh, other part of the body other than the brain. On brain CBD has got a minimum effect and that's why the CBD is very useful molecule. It is not a psychoactive. So when this CBD was given what was found that cycling dependent kinases and other such molecules which are responsible for the uncontrolled growth of the cancer they are they, they are curtailed the cycling dependent kinases and or they all are they are pulled out so first thing first target is achieved that growth of cancer cell is reduced so debulking starts what we call reduction of the mass reduction of the mass okay second thing it cancer the cbd basically cbd improves certain molecules like p53 protein certain apoptotic molecules backs back there are number of um, armamentary mark there so these apoptotic molecules they they make cancer cells to die the cannabis generates ceramide specially it generates only in the cancer cells not in the normal cells through certain pathways it generates ceramide and because of the ceramide because of this apoptotic pathways because of the p53 molecule the immortality tag is drawn and cancer cells are made to die so through 
through controlling the, some kinases, various kinases, the growth is controlled, the disease is debulked, then the cancer cells are made inactive, they are made to die, they are compelled to die. Okay, so these are the two major things that it is achieved through that. Then cancer cell also act on certain receptors which are used by um, cannabis also, the CBD also act on certain receptors which are used by cancer cells for the proliferation, for the migration. So mTOR is one such receptor. CBD blocks mTOR receptor and because of which the cancer proliferation is affected, uh, affected is arrested. Now the formulation which has got CBD, more CBD and less THC is Solazen which is available in the market and it contains only CBD, 90% it contains CBD, 99% it contains CBD and less than 1% is the THC. So this Solazen which uh, given when I am giving to my number of patients, I have got more than 350 patients, those who are taking this and a uh, number of other non-cancerous patients, those who are taking Solazen for Parkinson and arthritis and other purposes. So the first thing is I have kept the proper data of it and I have I am meticulously, non-prejudicedly, I am, you know, using, uh, uh, I am observing this patient. So in none of the patient, they had any kind of kidney failure or liver failure or cardiotoxicity, I didn't come across. I give this medicine i discuss with the oncologist i give it with the proper consent i give it to them the the, the as with, because of the cbd because of the solazen the cancer cells are inactivated next day when patient is taking chemotherapy cells are washed out don't give on the day of chemotherapy give it afterwards again you start it so likewise you start giving uh, the cbd dominant uh, solazen preparation the benefits are my patients, they feel less fatigued. My patient, they have proper appetite. The marrow suppression, you know, which causes the low hemoglobin and all, low WBC, the rate of marrow suppression is much, much less in those who are taking it. So these are the my experiences that CBD dominant solazen when I am giving to the patient, the overall quality of life is improved, side effects of this is less and of course uh, the long term survival is more, of course it is going to take uh, some longer period to know that how much long time patient can survive have a disease free life. This is going to be a big task, we need further evaluation, further studies for that. But this Solazen, which contains 45 milligram per ml, we can start with the 0.25 ml twice a day. In females, initially, you have to be a little cautious. In males, uh, there is no not much of dizziness or giddiness. Some females, they feel dizzy or giddy. You give them lemon juice, ask them to lie down, sleep. In two to three days of time, the dose is adjusted. Then you can step up the dose to 0.5 ml twice a day. Okay. Like that, slowly, slowly, you can go up to 45 milligram per day. That is 0.5 ml twice a day. Then slowly you go up to 90 milligram per day. That is 1 ml twice a day, depending upon the staging of the cancer. If it is a metastatized, advanced stage cancer, you have to give full dose. You have to explain patient. You have to take the consent that, yes, these are the giddiness, dizziness may occur. We will try to manage and slowly give it. For the optimum result, at least you should give up to 150 milligram. There are trials which suggest that 10 milligram per kg of the CBD is supposed to be the safe, but I have not used, so I will not opine, I will not comment on that. I have used up to 150 to 200 milligram of CBD dominant uh, uh, solazen preparation. So this, you can, I think, uh, um, uh, use it very uh, uh, safely. Discuss with your oncologist, discuss with your patient properly, explain them. And if the oncologist also permits, you can use uh, solazen, which will make uh, the cancer cells uh, dull, which will make cancer cells numb, inactivated, and the chemotherapy radiation will kill cancer cells. So chances of relapse is almost negligible. And that's why disease-free remission uh, will be uh, the goal which we can achieve as an adjuvant uh, addition of CBD solazen to the uh, cancer protocol. Thank you.